Okay. There we go. I, I think I, I think we got it. I think we got it. All right. Got to make sure that it's like light. You know what I'm saying? All right. All right. So let's let's get started, shall we? What's happening, LOM community? Good to see you again. Lockout men back with another commentary. Let's get into it. Ryan Little. <laughs> So what's going on, y'all? I am back. I am here in Missouri, chilling. It's uh, it's it's a crazy night. Um, unfortunately, I won't be able to make my appointment. Um, this is the first time, you know, transitioning to a new company. You really got to unlearn what you have learned. And what I mean by that is everything that you know about the previous company where you was at, what you was used to, how you was used to doing things, you got to throw all that out the window with the new company that you get with. Uh, you you got to make you the comp the new company that you get with you you got to you got to pretty much you got to pretty much get on their program, all right, and you got and, and you kind of got to get on their program kind of quick you know what i'm saying so for me i am a quick learner and with that said it's 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 gonna work it's gonna work out i i i see it i foresee the future where i'm at and so far so good i mean the company where i'm what i'm rocking out with now i you know i think i'm, I'm i think i'm gonna enjoy the company you know so far so far so good you know the the uh the 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 owner's good the recruiter's good the, it, it's just it's just a nice little you know vibe over here but as far as as far as getting things done i want to have to get used to it and it shouldn't be too much of a problem but today's commentary though uh comes from facebook as always and um uh, and this comment this uh, gentleman said in the in the Facebook group, it says, drivers, stop settling for bullshit pay. There's no reason for you not to be making at least. Let me get my stick now. Let me get my stick. At least fifteen hundred dollars local, and that's weekly, and two grand over the road as a company driver. Do you guys agree with that? Do you do you agree that being a local driver, you should make at least $1,500 weekly? Now, if you're in my tax bracket, they're going to take out $300, so that your take-home pay is $1,200. Now, Local, they they really said there's no money in local, but I have talked to many drivers that pretty much disputed that. And they say, yo, lockout, it is money in local. You just got to find the right company to rock out with. But local, but local is work. You're going to work for that local pay. I'm just saying. You're going to work for that pay. You know, I mean, there's there's companies like uh, Cisco. There's beer companies. There are soda companies. And all those local companies, you're going to do some work. I'm just saying. It ain't, it ain't going to be simple. And as far as driving and, and getting into some situations, there's going to be sometimes – that you're going to be parking in the middle of the street. There's going to be places where you're going to have to get there like real, real early where there's no cars to interfere with you getting into the area. There's places like McDonald's, Burger King, Wendy's, that you're going to have to get in those small-ass parking lots. There's places like, rest uh uh other restaurants that's in 
that's in, uh, what do you call it, um, strip malls, community malls. It's not going to be easy, and it's going to be worse. Now, being a local driver, like, you know, running beer, running uh, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and all like that, you're going to take, you. Get, number one is manual. That's the driver takes the load off, driver wheels it into the shop, driver feels all of that, um, all of the cases. You doing that. That's work. You doing that. You're gonna fill the ca- you're gonna fill the cases full of pop, soda, or beer. That's your job. It, you you're not gonna get to the you're not gonna get to the dock. You're not gonna bump the dock and just put the stuff in the back room. No, you're not gonna do that. You're gonna take you're gonna you're gonna take it from the truck from the back room to the floor, and those displays that's inside of the stores. You know, like Giant Eagle, hy V, uh. Uh, also, whatever the name of this uh, Chicago story is, those displays, you're going to have to put them up. Those those special displays, those Super Bowl displays, the holiday displays, you're going to have to put them up. And you're going to have to put them up and you're going to have to be on the time. So consider what it is. Local is money. And he says that you should not get paid no less than fifteen hundred dollars. Do you agree? I think, I think, I think so. Now let's let's talk about over the road. Over the road as a company driver is so shaky right now. There's company. If you're a new driver coming over the road, you're not going to get two thousand dollars. Hell, you might not even get a thousand. I'm just saying. But if you put in, if you put in the work, put in the time, put in the effort, put in the experience, then it is possible to get about two thousand dollars. Maybe you get your endorsements. Maybe you got your tankers. Maybe you got your hazmat. Maybe you got your doubles and triples. Then two thousand dollars is not. A foreseeable. I mean, it's not. It's it's not that hard to see. Two thousand dollars to trap my be about seventeen hundred dollars. But you're gonna have to. You're gonna have to have some good experience. And a lot of these companies, I just don't know. As a company driver, no more than than sixty cent, and that's a company driver, like. W-2 driver. We're talking W-2 here. Now, if you want to see $2,000 a week, you, you're you going to have to go lease. You, you're just going to have to. Now, wonder why I'm saying lease is because you could probably see about a dollar, a dollar 15, maybe a dollar 20. But also understand what lease is too. Lease is is something that that you want to build towards you don't want to uh be a lease driver forever well at least not be a lease driver and not have your own truck but you don't want to be a lease driver forever you just don't i'm just saying what you want to do is get in i say maybe about six months to a year you know you stack your money and then you get out because see leasing on with with leasing through Snyder leasing through uh uh prime and the rest of them not not to buy out the truck anyway you know what i'm saying not to buy out the truck but what you want to do is you want to lease you want to save your money. You want to get in, get out, and 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 move on to the next. Now, you can see two thousand dollars as a lease driver. As a company driver, I think the most 
I would probably say about the same as the local driver, about 1500 I think that's about the most that you're going to see as a company driver. You know, driving about 3,000 miles. You got to get you got to get 3,000 now. You got to get 3,000 in order to see around 2000 to 15 1500 around 1500 to 2000 dollars a week. You're going to have to get that 3000 miles in. You're going to have to at least be at 60 cent. Right? 60 cent a mile. Let's break that down right quick. So, 0.60 times 3000 yeah, see, even at three, even at three thousand, that's sixty cent a mile. That's only eighteen hundred dollars. Subtract three hundred. That'd be about fifteen hundred. It's see, it's like what I just said about fifteen hundred. Now again, as a company driver, getting two thousand dollars a week, it's possible. Is it obtainable? Yes, maybe. But it also depends on what companies that you go with, too. But it's easy, obtainable as a lease driver. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, again, stop settling. If you are a veteran driver, if you're, if you're, if you're a two-year, three-year, five-year driver, then, yes, stop settling for bullshit pay. If you're a brand-new driver, then you're pretty much going to have to settle for what you can get. Because you're not going to get two thousand dollars again. Hell, you're not. You're not even going to get a thousand. All right. Within your first year, you're not going to get that. You're only going to get about fifty grand, fifty k, sixty k. That's about it. That's about a grand a week. After taxes, you're looking at about maybe about eight, maybe about eight hundred. After taxes, but if you're a five-year driver, you know, six-year driver, then, yeah, stop settling for bullshit pay. Stop. Just stop. You know, if you if you started at $0.32 cent and you're five years in, then you need to be making $0.50 cent plus. $0.50 cent plus. $0.55, 50, $0.55, $0.60, $0.70. I'm just saying, but as a lease driver, two thousand dollars—that's easy to attainable. Uh, that's that's easy to attain. So just think about it when you come out here and figure out what you want to do. Just know, in the first year, you're not going to make that kind of money. But in the first year, you can get your experience. You can save your money, and then by the next year, you could probably have enough to buy your own truck. I've seen people do that. They came in the game in the first year, and then the second year, boom, they got their own truck. And they making, they making as a as as an owner operator. They jump from the company to owner operator, making the kind of money that they want to make. They can negotiate what they want to make. Now, I did not mention, I did not mention before I get on up out of here, there is percentage pay. There is percentage pay. Now, Percentage pay as a company driver, that's a possibility to get $2,000 a week. That's a possibility. I can see that. I can see that. I can see $2,000 as a company driver on percentage pay. And you don't even have to chase the miles. What, three loads? Three lows, boom, done. Four just to put just just to pat in the pockets a little bit. But um, as a company driver chasing miles, I I say the most that you're gonna get at sixty cent a mile is at eighteen hundred. And you gotta really really do your homework. You really gotta do your due diligence. Companies like Snyder, Swift. Uh, U.S. Express, you're not going to pretty much get that. They're going to they gonna offer you like maybe 45, 46, maybe 48. 
you you got to look at you you got to go beyond the bots. You know what I'm saying? You got to go beyond the bots. Sometimes go to a place like Wooster Motorways or or I got another company that I could suggest to you guys too. CLE Transportation. Get those two. Get now you might be able to just saying. Just saying. You might be able to, you know, with Wooster and with CLE Transportation. Get them a try. Get them a try. You know, holler at my girl, uh, Lynn. Just saying. Holler at Lynn. You know, see, see what she got to say. And if you like it, roll with it. And if you don't, you don't. That's all. Make sure y'all check out that interview that I did with her. And I made the call to CLE Transportation. So, all right. So with that said, everybody, that's about it. That's my time right now. So I really do appreciate this commentary. Uh, that you guys listening to. If you like content like this and more, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Hit that bell and that all button and make sure you like it so that YouTube could push the video. That's what's up. That's it is. That's what it is. And I'm done and I'm out. Peace. Ryan Little. <laughs>